Welcome back guys to Dying Light 2. Let's jump in. Oh, shit. Let's get through the door. Well, he was quick to, uh, not giving him a chance to try and take me down. Pick anything up? No. Can keep going, yo. Getting freaking bent. Hack on. I'm inside. Five packs. Think about it, and I'll be right back. I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Open the airlock. Is it going to look? Quick shift around. This game actually reminds me of Dead Island, where you used to be able to um, loot other people's loot. Loot other people's loot. Damn. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh oh. The cause. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. No. <laughs> no, not cool. No, tied up. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. You get a How is it that people you lost nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Thank you. Give me my freedom. 
where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? Looking rough. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. And besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us. Even though we protect them. When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there are that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you, but not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot. And we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. Mm -hmm. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? Oh. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the cool. first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. 
Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty handed. Good yes, luck. Sir. Mm. I haven't seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guild master would be authorized to share information. And then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Thank you. We'll see where yeah, go. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. The key is the right battalion. What's that all about? I'm contemplating a bold new direction in distilled arts, but sadly, I'm not able to serve you right now. With distilled arts? Serve me? Yes, I'm a bartender, and not only am I looking to revive the lost art of mixology, but I plan on reinventing it. How so? Through the infusion of special herbs and booze, not only to make it taste great, but to give it healing properties. So, what's the problem? You see, the wrong amount of even the finest ingredients could be the difference between creating a refreshing healing cocktail and deadly poison. Only one person can help me achieve the right results, and they say she is a witch. So this so-called witch lives somewhere in the city? In the central loop, where the buildings reach the sky. Behind the bank, I hear. And naturally, where else would you find a witch if not behind a bank? How droll. Anyhow, I need her expertise to reinvent mixology. With her knowledge of herbs and my bartending skills, everyone will want to come and drink my cocktails. Don't think you'll have to try too hard to convince people to drink booze. Oh, but you see, this won't be just any common hooch. Each will be a handcrafted work of alcoholic art. Well, when you put it that way, I'll keep an eye out for her if I make it into the city center. I would be eternally in your debt, and the first drink would be on the house. Nice. Of course, I'll need my own bar. I don't These want are peacekeeper premises. Follow the rules. Maybe you could or scout you'll be some arrested. prime locations for me too. Without infected in them, of course. Who wants to come to a bar full of infected? Hey man, where could I get some food? In the canteen. We have a canteen and a hospital at our base. Like in the army. Not like in the army. This is the army. We're bringing order to this fucking chaos. And who are you? I'm a courier. I travel between the zones. Pilgrim. You got it. It takes balls to wander off-road like that. It does. And I got them balls. There's someone else talks on here. Side. So 
Uh, there's nothing here. Oh, it would seem. Good day, citizen. Good day, sir. Oh, I want to see this guy. I'm going to... Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro. <coughs> Help you with something, citizen? Good day, citizen. Good day, citizen. I want to be. What's your problem, citizen? You looking to end up in a PK jail? No, I'm looking for the guy who fucking upgrades shit. is massive. There's so much to do over there. I just have to be on top of that building though. Please, thank you. Come on, tell me all about it. So, what did they want from you? Ader <coughs> uh. said he might let me through to the center if I help him. What? 
What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbazos. Also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop Hubert. in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep okay. in touch. Where is this guy? Where are you? Oh my god, I see. I was wondering it not me as well. Make some roof. Now, does it hurt? Leave me alone. You've got to trust Leave us. Leave me alone. We want to help you. Oh yes, it is. Um, how do we get up there? I wonder. There must be uh, something you can climb on, shall we? To be able to. Uh, yeah, I yes, see. We go. have to be like so far away so look at skills we can only open this one anyway so For Hubie too, so get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour, maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Just somewhere then? Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. W wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Nice. Yeah, sure. Hakon, he's running away. Nah, sounds like you be. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Yep, so can I. We gotta start rationing the war. Not fast on his tail, hopefully. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running.
Okay, I'm gonna go blind. Ooh. That was okay. Excuse me, get in the way. Roof. Oh, that roof. Maybe you can't do that one. Damn, I was supposed to get on there now. Falling all the way down. Like this. We found him. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Hmm. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes, someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Well, stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. Mm. All right, I can find that. Well, right, guys, we're gonna leave it there hey, for this on. episode. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know a Maya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. <coughs> She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Right, that's it for now. I know this one's a little bit shorter, but it don't matter. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And goodbye.